St George's Town Hall in Cable Street. This is where the inquest into the murder of Elizabeth Stride was held. It's right next to the churchyard. Just through here. And this, of course, is the location of the St. George in the East Mortuary, which is the building over there, which I've not filmed for some years. And also, where the victims of the, uh, the Ratcliffe Highway murders are buried. I don't think the stone's on display. I know it's been discovered. I think it's actually in the church somewhere. Oh my God. Okay, this has changed if, uh, since I was last here a few years ago. There's now a kid's playground down there. Little do they know they are actually playing on the site of a former mortuary that predated the one that's there now. Okay, the last time I filmed this, as I say, was three years ago. And at the time, there were little gaps in the corrugated iron that was down there. But uh, you see, it's all been boarded up now, so I can't actually get the camera inside. So those really grainy, poor quality clips I made in a different camera years ago are for the time being gonna have to suffice. yet more being lost. The last time I was here, I'd say I'd hardly say this was fields, but it was all a strip of open ground and grass. And it's now all been tarmacked over, clearly to build yet more ugly urban sprawl housing. But this is pretty much this sort of area where Joseph Martin, the photographer, the who, who took uh, a lot of the mortuary photographs of the Ripper victims lived. You see it's right next to Hawksmoor's church. The junction of Cable Street and Cannon Street Road with the Crown and Dolphin pub on the other side. Which looks to me like it's closed and has been for some time. I'm sure someone will be able to fill me in on that for sure. The importance of this spot, it gets busier with each passing year. Where the camera's pointed now, right under that, is where John Williams is buried, who was possibly the Ratcliffe Highway murderer and possibly wasn't, but he committed suicide in his cell before he could come to trial. And they buried him with a stake through his heart, as was the fashion, at this crossroads. It's changed a bit. In Sweden, Borg Gardens, restored in 1997 jointly by the Swedish community in London and London Borough of Tower Hamlets. Yes, really nicely restored. 
but that's the font from the uh, the Swedish church that was here where Liz Stride was registered and nowadays as you see it's very different Okay, so it's not the font. 